Look, would I be excited if they just randomly decided, hey, let's put LA Knight over uh, this weekend? Yeah, that would be cool. Do I believe they're going to do that? No, because Drew McIntyre makes the most sense. They continue to push him now. Whether or not he beats Seth Rollins, I think, depends upon whether or not he ends up signing any sort of contract extension. From all the reports out there, it seems like they've either agreed to a small extension or because of past injuries were able to extend his contract past WrestleMania. But I I don't know if Drew McIntyre is actually going to be a contracted employee of WWE four months from now, right? So I think whether or not he wins the championship from Seth almost seems like it solely depends upon if he signs a contract, much like when CM Punk signed his contract before uh, we had the summer of Punk when he beat Cena in Chicago in Money in the Bank back in 2011. Well, that's the one part that makes me think maybe in the men's match, because if Drew's leaving in two, three months, do you want him in a marquee WrestleMania match? Do you want him fighting for a world title at WrestleMania and then showing up at Wembley months later? Or do you want to throw him in the Andre Battle Royal and say, hey, thanks for your time. Like, good luck on the Indies. The Andre Battle Royal. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, if he's <laughs> leaving. One of, the, one of the top characters I, in the company now? I thought we stopped talking about LA Knight. I thought we had already moved past that. <laughs> oh, man. LA Knight at least works there, we think, for a while. <laughs> let, let, let's just call it now. Let's just call it now. The WWE, or maybe Triple H, had no idea that Drew McIntyre, him being a troll heel, would be like this. Right. They thought him whining about how he was the pandemic champion would be a good way for him to lose some matches, go out the right way, and then leave. But now, because of the CM Punk injury, things have changed, guys. Things have changed. There's going to be, I would predict, a contract for McIntyre. Could you imagine being this hot right now, really in the mix in a lot of semi-main and mains, a lot of promo time, and then be like, yeah, go to the Indy, see ya. Go to Rev Pro, so long. All right, that, that's not going to happen. Like, I There's think, a lot of zeros on that paycheck right now. I think I think that they're going to do something for him to stay. And if McIntyre does not win, okay, let's go with Randy Orton. So Drew McIntyre still complains about he got screwed at, at El- Elimination Chamber. So is he ever going to be the champion then in that regard? No, but even this way, even him winning, we don't think he's going to be the champion. Well, Seth's not winning at uh, at uh, WrestleMania if he's wrestling, by the way. It, right? Yeah, we're, we're still we're still not sure if he's wrestling. But if Drew doesn't have a contract, he's not winning the title at Mania. Correct. They're, they got to fix that. <laughs> yes, but I don't know. I mean, that's a, that's a huge that is a huge gamble. You know, it is a huge gamble whether or not you get Drew McIntyre locked up to a contract or not because. A lot of this is also out of Triple H's hands, right? As much as Triple H may want to sign him to a deal, that's no longer really his decision. Like, there are a lot of people above him now that not only are in WWE, but are on this, in this TKO group that look at it and go, eh, do we really need to pay Drew McIntyre this type of money? I would say, I think it would be in their best interest to do so, especially as good as, the, as good of a work as he has been doing as of late, but... Again, that 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 may not, may not be up to Hunter anymore. It may not just be simple as, yeah, you're doing good work. We're going to resign you. There could be some other people in the accountant in the accounting office going, eh, we'd rather make that money in profit. So you're not saying it's the FBI that would be doing that. You're saying there'd be TKO. Is that what you're saying? Is yes. that what you're saying? Okay, just checking. I just want to make sure if you're calling it now that Michael Hayes will have to make that call. <laughs> do do do. Hey, I think you'd be really good at WrestleMania. Hey, I mean, could you imagine, like, no Triple H, no Bruce Pritchard, all of a sudden, like, you go through the line, like, it's Road Dogg and Michael Hayes running WWE. I'm just saying, like, that's a possibility. It that's is. terrifying. It is. Well, who knows what the rest of this Vince stuff is? I, I'm, all I'm saying is, is that no matter what's going on with TKO, guys, I think that Drew McIntyre, will be extended because as we we talked about so much, it's an arms race. Sure. You don't want talent to go to AEW and you don't want them to go to New Japan and you don't want them to be in the Indies and start, you know, getting as big as Ali or Cardona. You want to be able to have as much talent as possible. McIntyre has got a hot t-shirt too. Like all of this is happening at the same time. This is not Lex Luger going from raw to nitro in the same week. This is a little different. This guy means something to WWE now. 